You may be seated. May God bless you. Praise God for a great evening He has given us so that we may share the word of God again. We are from my heart, I thank everyone who has been with us here from Wednesday to up to today. Some of them have been together in the first and second services and now they're here in the third. We thank you all and may God bless you. We thank those that have come in the third service if they did not make it to the first and second. We also we also thank the leadership for the proven trust to invite us and preach. Pastors, we thank you. May God bless you. I thank this man in front of me. He's been here from Wednesday. He's been here in the second service and then now he's here in the third. May God bless you. I think I've seen him a lot of times in this week, so that's why I'm and for the rest of you as well, may God bless you. And for those that did not make it to the first and second services, if you were at work, that's fine. But if you were not working, it's not good. Especially for young people. Do not really like laziness or sleeping too much. Yeah. If you are young, you ought to work every time so long as God is giving you an opportunity to live. Because this is what raised us. Some, there is a time where we, we, we spent six months in front of God. Two weeks in a prayer room. Two other weeks, we'd spend overnight and then the next day we go to work. We did that for six months. Now, where do you think you're going to get the power from if you don't do if you don't pray while you still have physical strength, where will you get strength from or power from? Everything in this life that will count in years, at certain age, you can't do certain things. Even the dancing thing, I used to dance at least three times a night. I would dance and pray, dance and pray up to dawn. So the next time I come back here, I'll come with my pianist. That's how I feel in my heart. I'll come with a pianist. Because 
buri abacuranzi bose azabaho umuntu umenyere umucuranzi nyine uninga kurya ku uko mumenyere abashumba buryo bazabavuga kwera ko mubanyige kinene naho nje we nyine kwa rabamwe ibintu bimwe bigise ya bigenda bitabigenda yeah sometimes people will get used to certain things and certain people so that's why i'm saying now that we are going to close amagambo twarimo tuganira azatuma abantu batinda kumusozi we've been discussing about the things that make people dwell or delay on certain mountains turavuga twitonze dusoze kare i will speak briefly for us to finish as early as we can mugitondo twavuganye ko icyabatinje cyambere nuko bajanye nabanyamahanga bi bivanze nabanyamahanga kwa The first thing we discussed this morning is that the reason why they dwelt on the mountain is because they mixed up with the Gentiles. Second is that we say they fought against leadership. So I'm just recapping for those that came in this evening. And the third thing is that at Mount Horeb, At Mount Horeb is where they murmured against Aaron. We said how murmuring can delay your answers. Do not serve God murmuring or even pray while murmuring. Because this will make you delay on the mountain where you are. The fourth thing is that they left their God and started worshiping. Sometimes we depart from God and we erect other gods in our hearts. And then these they will take our time. And this will make the Lord to leave us and even his people. And also the fifth is that children the children of Aaron they had forgotten that they were supposed to keep the fire burning. So the fire was quenched because they slept. And the Bible says that he who is slumbering may you wake up so that the Lord may shine on you. If you are asleep in the spirit there is nothing you will like There is nothing that will give you joy And whoever that's asleep they can't even hear anything Now for for the fire to be put off you, you just need to sleep Now because they slept and they caught a different fire than that of God It made God have them delay on Mount Horeb Now, When you are asleep there is no fellowship with the Lord So when you are asleep in the spirit you can't even hear. Even if we shouted hallelujah you would hear. We would say praise the Lord you wouldn't even hear. It. If someone is asleep you can wake them up for for food they won't make it. You might wake them up and they will wake up but they can't eat well I saw one time there was war and there were gunshots Now for me I had spent my night in prayer for a sick It was uh, around 4 a.m. So the the shooting happened and people couldn't hear because they were asleep. But now because I was awake I was the only one to 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 run and and call people to run away. Because anyone who's asleep they will never know when they're attacked. Now because of slumber the fire of the Holy Spirit will be put off. And in that slumber you cannot fellowship with the Lord.
This is the fifth thing that made them delay on the mount. Now the, the last thing we didn't share earlier. Now the sixth thing. Let, let us read in Malachi chapter 3. Yet from the days of your fathers you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said... In what way shall we return? Now, when you read the word of God, now let me let me just mention this. If you return to me, I will return to you. Return to me and I will return to you. Normally, God never moves from where he is. We are the ones that move from where God is. So when God says, if you return to me, I will return to you. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that God moves away from us, but we do move. So when we come back, when we return to him, he's ready to, to receive us. Now when we, 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 we go away from the things that make us delay, God is ready to fellowship with us. And then Malachi is asking, in what way shall we return? That's how people are saying. Now it is to, to go away from the things we just discussed that make us delay. On the, the sixth thing that made these people to delay on the mount Horeb. It is at the Mount Horeb where people lost the, the thirst, the hunger for the things of God. At Horeb is where people got fed up with the things of God. They did not care about the things of God anymore. And also speaking about the things of God, it, it fear. And God spoke to the Israelites. He said, These people, they praise me with their mouth. When they sing about the like but their hearts are drawn away from me. Sometimes God refused even to take their yeah, he even refused their song saying this is too noisy. Now they had, they had not stopped coming to church. But they would come to church without the things of God in their hearts. And then the Lord said, if it's not coming from your heart, then you will dwell on this mount. I do not know the level at which you are at with the Lord. I don't know how much powerful the things of God are in your heart. That is why you are still delaying on a mountain. How much power does praise and worship have for you? How much way does it bring to your heart in prayer? The work, the service you do to the, to the Lord. Now God sees what's in the heart. He doesn't see us. God will see the weight of your service. That, that God will weigh us on that. It's not about your presence, but how much does your presence weigh in the presence of God? Hallelujah. 
The Lord is watching. That is why you're still dwelling on his mouth. Let's read from Exodus. Exodus 32. Kuva mirongo itatu na kabiri umurongo wa mbere aravuga ngo abantu babonye Mose atinze kumanuka wa musozi aho bateranira kuri Aroni baramubwira bati haguruka uturemere imana yo kutujya imbere kuko wa wundi Mose umuntu wadukuye mu gihugu cya Egiputa tutazi icyo abaye Ibyimana bari mwumve namwe Mose yaragiye kandi ndi yagize gimisi imisi mirongo ine gusa now Moses did not really delay or dwell too long on that mountain. He spent only 40 days. Because the things of God, they, got, they had got fed up with them. There are people that are used to just church services. And others do not even care much about and whenever we call upon church gathering they will say they do not come in with the mind that there is the power of God that they will come the way they came and then they will go the same way and when you look closely to their life they will go back with that now you will wonder why do these people come here if they can sing and you can be blessed they pray you are not blessed and then you give your offerings simply because they call for offerings praise and worship unto the Lord they say amen you answer or not they say lift your hands and you, you start murmuring why should we do this and then you want God to visit you the things of God mean nothing to you anymore. Hmm. And then they spoke to Aaron and said, uh, this man who went for this long, then what's wrong? And they were like, we are fed up, we are tired of these things. You remember in the morning we say that they spoke against Moses saying, you don't talk to God alone. They were even tired of hearing about Moses saying, the Lord say, the Lord say. And then they cried unto Aaron saying, make a way to give us another God. We know nothing about Moses anymore. There are people you might ask in church and say, What do you like the most in church? And they can't find one. Thing. And you ask them, What makes you leave your house and come to the house? And David said, I was rejoicing when they told me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Before he even got there. When I was young, I was so joyful more than what you can see. The moment I step in church, it's and I just realized that I was being I was being a problem to the weak. And I spoke to the Lord, what is it that I just make people feel bad? And then I heard a voice telling me, I'll show you what to do on Sunday. I, I I would enter the church and just catch the joy and the hurt. 
namaniruka bene birya gabyo kwiruka vye nyi umuntu wawe irukangishwa n'umwuka wera vuga and and then the spirit of the lord told me to go out and then run as fast as you can now imagine someone running by the spirit I ran and then I got exhausted. Then when I came back, I came back normal as anyone else. And then I waited until they sang. And then I waited Normally, no, this is how people come into the church. Normally, we don't sing for us to, be, to rejoice. We rejoice. We sing out of rejoicing. We don't rejoice. Now, the troublemakers in church are those that wait until songs come in for them to rejoice. No wonder if I gave you papers to write on and say, what makes you come to church? People won't find some, something to write. Don't you think that the things of God are no longer in your heart? <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 4. Utege kwa kabiri. Uche chakani. Makumiyavi na gatatu. Uche bine. Munguwa makumiyavi na gatatu nda uliho. Uche bine makumiyavi na Take heed to yourself. Uche bine makumiyavi na gatatu. Uche Take heed to yourselves. Unless you forget the covenant of the Lord. He told the Israelites to leave Egypt. This is a word from my heart and my mouth. I will lead you, I will keep you, and I will be with you. When you have a trustworthy friend, whatever they will say, you will say it's true. He will do it. Why do we get, get fed up with the things of God, yet God is truthful that whatever he says, he accomplishes? Samuel wambere kabiri 17 First Samuel chapter 2 Samuel wambere 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 17 Kabiri 17 Samuel wambere kabiri 17 Kabiri 17 Yeah Nuko rero icyacha ubasore kirakomera cyane imbere y'uwiteka Kuko cyate yabantu kuzinukwa Amen. Eh? Chande, the sin of the young man was so great Kuzinu that kwa. it abhorred the offering of the Lord. Abhorring something, it is to hate something and you don't even want to look at it again. These were the children of the, the, the priests and they seen it is on the mount that people abhorred the things of God. And God spoke to them, now that you are, you are boring my things, then there are things that you have replaced with the things of God. There are things that you have replaced with. There are things that you have replaced with service unto the Lord. Do we understand this at least? 
Zaburi ya minongu inane na chumini chendi. Psalms 8. Mvukicha karini. Zaburi. Psalms. Zaburi minongu inane. Zaburi minongu inane. Numurongo wa chumini chenda. Numurongo wa chumini chenda. Psalms 8 verse 19. Nukorero na tuke. Tuza suwi. Aba chuba. Aba vitu mungambi wa kusubiri nyuma. <laughs> and then I would ask myself, did these people have a plan to backslide? People praising the Lord that they are still standing in the faith. And then I wonder, did they have a plan to stop this? <laughs> Hallelujah. And a Frenchman said, A man is made of his decisions. There are, there are things that I tell people that don't wait until Mudahiran uh, does this. From 1984, when I believed, I still have the same joy. It doesn't fade. The same way I sought for the Lord day and night, when it rained or not, I I still do the same. And what did David say? Psalms 80, verse 18. Nukorero natwe. Tuzasubira inyuma ngo. Tuguhara ruke. Tuguhara ruke we. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tuzasubira inyuma ngo tuguhara ruke. Turn back for you. Hari umuririmbe wari nengo yemwa ryohera cyane ngo ndabuka iburyo hangawe. Sema amen. Yes, Jesus is so sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Jesus is so sweet. There are people who stop praying because they can't, they can't get this or that. No, 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 why would you abort praying in the first place? And when, place? when you are fed up with rejoicing in the Lord, what are you doing? And David said, we oh, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. When when you 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 praise our Lord Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah! Now imagine the Israelites getting fed up with the Lord. They forgot what he did for them in Egypt. I will worship him and I will die still in love with him. I Amen. When you are with Jesus, you're never lonely. When you're with Jesus, you're never afraid. The one thing that Jesus will take away from you is fear. And of course, I can't just stand in the middle of the road expecting the cars to just run away from me. No. <laughs> And then you want to tell me that I will spend time. I can never be afraid of demons because God has made us to be the flames. Because 
you're afraid of a rat in the house and then you want to fight with, with the devil. How? You you can't be afraid of rats and then fight with the with, with the devil who is the lord of this world and the and the <laughs> atmosphere and then you see rats in the house you like in the name of Jesus. <laughs> You can have in your storage all sorts of food and not expect just rats to be the house. You cannot have rats in a, Ta, in a poor man's house. It's just going to die in there. <laughs> rats will go only where there is food. And then you want people to pray for you. you have been attacked. Just go clean the house and see if you're going to have those rats in the house. <laughs> and the Israelites, they were fed up with the things of God. One would call them for fellowship, they refused. The Lord once gave an ordinance to the leaders of families. And he would go be like... Are the Benjamites going to, 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 to pray? The Manasseh people, are they going to pray? And then whoever did not go to worship the Lord, they would stone them to death. Now, do, do you think if we had the same ordinance, would we, would we have anyone remaining? <laughs> Yeah, some of you were They didn't like to, to fellowship anymore. And then one man told me that wherever you are, uh, the Lord said that God will hear you. No one said that God won't hear you from wherever you are. Maybe you're watching. And then they ask, uh, what if we just stayed home and then we fall on TV? But does your TV baptize you? Could you, take, could you protect the Holy Communion on TV? And the day you will die, do you think your TV is going to bury you? And technology is there, we will be watching on the TV. Go, go, you will come back rushing. I'm telling the truth. The little of your home cell, when they call, you don't know it. If in your home cell they don't know you, who else will know you? Let them leave you alone. Go wherever you want. Now the seventh. On the Mount Horeb. 
is where they got the spirit of refusing to be led by God. They dwelt they didn't dwell there for no reason. This is where they got this spirit saying that they don't want God to lead them. They wanted a king. And then they refused God to lead them who created them and they wanted to be led by someone. They came to, to, to Samuel saying, we want to talk to you. We don't want God to lead us. God will be like, take this path and take the other path. This is the problem that we still have even today. People don't want to be led by the spirit. People want to be led by the spirit of this world and the things. People want to be led by the things that they see. And then they want God to take them out of the problems they put themselves It's impossible. Let's read it. You might, you might think that it's just my words. Samuel. First Samuel. Chapter 8, verse 5. 1 Samuel 8, 5. Samuel 1. Samuel 1. Samuel 1. Samuel 1. Samuel 1. Samuel Musaza Kandi, Abongo Bawe, eh, Hagendana, Ingeson, Hizawe, eh, non erero, eh, Utquimichiri Umami, Aho, Ada Duchiri Manza, Kayan di Mahanga Yose, Amen. Manukae, Kuchumini Chen, Chumini Chen, Chumini Chen, nineteen. Ariko Avanuanga Kumvira, Samueli, Aho, Barabuga tea. Biramaze. Biramaze. Trasha kumami o kudu tejika. Uh-huh. Akumyabiri. Hey. Kujirango na tke duse nandi mahanga yose. Duse nandi mahanga yose. We all may be like all other nations. Umami wachu aje aduchiri manza aje atujimbere aturengere munambarazachu. Mvaya mu mvaya mapep. Now this, this, these, are demons. Are demons. these are just demons. You have been born again. You have come to the house of God. We bring you the word of God and how it says. And yet you say no. You say these are not current things. These are old fashioned things. Don't you see these kind of things today? We say the Spirit of the Lord does not like this and that, and you're like, no. And you're like, your stories are old fashioned. Sometime back, they, they expose us from the choir. Simply because of our haircut. There was, there was a type of haircut that we had. And you'd leave some hair in the back. And the pastor looked at us and was like, get out. Go back, go back to the beauty parlor and then come back here. Can we do the same today? Could we do the same thing today? And then people will be like, these pastors never went to school. They do not know. Did you go to heaven to study? Didn't you go to ULK? <laughs> Amen. 
Why don't we just understand each other? Manchester now. <laughs> and then when they call you out you, you, you're just going to, to be crying why don't you just join those stars the Holy Spirit will instruct us of the things you should not do and Solomon said there is nothing you see today that's, that's not happened now you're tying your shirts in front of you we did a seminar in 1981 Don't you, do you think it's new? no you buy a shirt but you put it no, 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 across you cross your button. These things that you're doing today, we saw that in 1973. Let me just tell you that it's a too old fashioned thing. <laughs> you are doing the things that people used to do back in the early days. Why don't you come to us? We tell you that it's just too old. The the haircuts are very old, very old. These things we left behind. Now you're picking them up again. <laughs> you just you just bring him back the the forgotten things. <laughs> if you refuse to be led by the spirit of God you'll be led by the spirit of this world it is not sinful to taint your hair it is not but 12 colors on your hair blue <laughs> I'm not saying that, that putting some color is a sin. Timo <laughs> Chifuzo <laughs> vyo 
ndacyasinze kwa rica ariko ari ibintu bimwe bidutware umwanya none se umuntu yogenda akaja muri salon ngo abandi bari muri repetition akiriko kugura kumeze gutya ama satana tugo bariko bari bariko baratera amabara kumana i'm not saying that putting some nail polish on your on your ugakerwa gusenga ngo kuba rasiga mwirange none impanda yo vuga baba basiga inzara Abandi bari mu materanye. You deny church service simply because you went to a beauty parlor for you to get your fingernails worked on. Mbireke yaho ngaho ntawe mbujire ndawe mbwiye ngo reke abanyesarona mo bohomba kandi batwigishe kwihangira imirimo ariko barayanze bokagira imana. Abantu bafatishije amabara y'inzara nibo bambere. Kandi bafite isoko ye. Bafite isoko bafite isoko benirya benirya gahebuze zanzana yewe hari amabara yose baze bayakura aba hano ku isoko baze abandi banze kuyoborwa n'Imana baze bayoborwa n'ibyisi when you refuse to be led by God you be led by this world aba Thessalonike ba mbere gatano gatandatu 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 Ariko reka mvuge dia jambo yavuze ngo barashaka kumera kabandi kuyoborwa kabandi they want to to be led like all other Titu, nations situ gashake kugenda kabandi let's not wish to walk like other people situ gashake kuvuga kabandi let's not wish to speak like everyone else situ gashake gutekereza kabandi let's not wish to speak or to situ gashake like kwambara kabandi let's not try to dress haru like kumuka w'Imana haru kw'Imana ishaka ko tumera there is another way that the spirit of god wants Hara us to be haru wibirivwa ngo ndi tugende ngimbura bwenge and the bible says let's not walk like king. let us walk like what you people of god we we, we, are are kind. we left that outside hallelujah here and we have Le, may, may you let the world Ay, wish to be like you but not you wanting to be like the world and it is possible it is possible nuko rero twe gusinzira nk'abandi ahubwo tuye maso twirinda ibisindisha amen None se wewe wabufite imyaka 33 ukagura gapira ko mwana w'imyaka 15 uko wabona uri muzima I imagine you're 30 but you buy a 15 year old child's clothes do you think you're okay Ufite imyaka 25 ugiye kugura gapira ko mwana w'imyaka 13 You're 25 you want to buy a shirt of a 13 year old child Uko numuka wera bakuye wewe buryo do you think you have been led by the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Do you think you are led by the Spirit when you go to a shop and buy a shirt with only one, one sleeve, yet you have two, two arms? Maybe this had been made for someone who only has one arm. You go to a market instead of buying normal trousers, you buy torn jeans. Someone who went to school and you have a bachelor's degree. In our old days, someone who had graduated from university with a bachelor's degree was a respectable person. Someone 
Someone who can represent a country and then you just and during the house of God filled with the spirit why don't you stop this? And Uh, <laughs> I have traveled in so many places. Don't think that I have traveled. I have traveled so much, so you can't think that I have developed. I have walked and have seen a lot of things. Among the people you are going to behind you, don't count me in because we didn't go to the same school. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Let us be led by God. Hallelujah. And we will look nice. And we will have favor with men. We will have favor with our friends. We will have favor with our pastors. And most of all, we will have favor with the Lord. May the Spirit of God enable you. And may you continue to think. God. Now, for the rest of the advice, I was just, you're good people. And God has blessed you. This is a battle we fight. We're not judging you. When one is on a battlefield, they should go ready knowing that they might be hit. Some will fall there, others will just get injured. Now because we're on this walk towards heaven, these are just a battlefield things that we face. That that we, we, we praise God, our, our Lord in heaven, who gave us his spirit. And he said the spirit shall never leave you. I believe that the spirit of God will never leave you. May it come fast or not, the spirit of God will take you where God wants you to be. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Even though you still fight these things. Tell God, may you see where you see you can't afford it, just as the Spirit to help you. The Holy Spirit is ready to help you and to take you to the, the mountain of the Lord. May God bless you, Amen. may God help you. Amen.